<clears throat> Good evening, beautiful people. This is Myron Magnus, okay? Um, I want to get straight to the point. <clears throat> Trump, Trump, Trump. <sighs> it's amazing. It's amazing to me how naive the American people are. It's truly amazing. Let me say this right off the bat. <clears throat> a president of this United States haven't had much power in quite some time. True power. The president of the United States of America, particularly a Donald Trump, a Barack Obama, um, a Bill Clinton, never, 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 never truly, truly, truly have power, okay? They are figureheads. They are figureheads. They're more so a personality put in there. Have y'all ever noticed, like, within the first week or two weeks, or like the first week, right after inauguration, whenever the president's sworn in, there's already bills and legislation on his desk ready for them to sign. With the men and advisors, cabinet, whoever, lobbyists beside them, President Obama just signed or such and such and such. Uh, Donald Trump signed or such and such, such in today within his first week of legis you know, of his presidency. All those laws, bills, the legislation presented in before them, for them to sign or Bills, laws, legislation, legislation written and put in by the people who really have the power. Okay? Donald Trump is no more than a distraction, people. That's why he on Twitter more than any other president in the world. Him and Barack Obama is quite on Twitter. Presidencies, the presidency is no more than a face. Okay? And we must understand that. Again, the senators that have been incumbents forever, that's had those seats for 30, 40 years, or the men, perhaps, that got much, much more power than the president. They have the numbers. Okay, it, you just got to look at it for what it is. A presidency, four years. If he can go ahead and run again, get another four years. Or win another election, gets eight years max. Where a senator gets six years. Most of the senators, and then six years. Six years. In certain towns and states, whatever, that's all they know that senator. They just keep electing the same senator. The senator might be in there 30, 40 freaking years. You got senators sitting in the Senate, been in our 70s, man. Been in there since the 40s. Since their 40s. They're running this country and pulling more strings because they can just <clears throat> outlast any president. You know what I'm saying? And don't get it twisted. This country don't have no problem getting a president out of there if he goes against the grain. So all this show, this big fiasco, this charade, you know what I mean, of the country and the Democrats, liberals, liberals, conservatives, um, doing this humongous worldwide anti-Trump smear campaign, it's all show, people. It's all show. 
The last president who truly had some power, real power, were Bush. Yes, George Bush. That guy to go created wars off of false allegations of weapons of destruction. And you know why Bush truly had power? Because of his father and his grandfather, Prescott Bush. And what was he? A banker. And the head of the intelligence at that time. So this goes way back. You're talking about three generations. Okay? So Bush truly had power. That's why he did what the hell he wanted to do. <laughs> Not so for any president after that. Okay? And we need the American people to truly wake up. To understand that big business runs America. Not a presidency. The last time we could say a president perhaps did something off the grid and chose to not go against, to go against the grain was Reagan was Reagan you know what I'm saying um, and that's why he had the assassination on him or attempt attempted assassination and probably that's why you know all of a sudden he caught Alzheimer's and didn't remember nothing I don't remember um, people gotta um, not get caught up and not be blinded um, by the show you know what I mean? By the stars, by Hollywood, by everybody doing this. Because all they're doing is rocking you to sleep. Okay? They're rocking you to sleep. Let me tell you again. All the presidents, it don't matter if they're Democratic. I'm here in Washington, D.C. No matter if they're Democratic, Republican. We do live in a republic that practices democracy. But this is a republic. We don't live in a democracy, people. We live in a republic. So Democrats, Republicans, all their children goes to the same school. All of them. They all have sleepovers. They all came up through the same grooming. And the only difference between these two groups is how they go about making their money accumulating their wealth they're not enemies they truly aren't okay all their children all go to the same school Sidwell Friends, Bullis, Georgetown Prep and many more in St. Albans all their children go to the same school okay it's a show people that's all it is President Trump is not pulling any strings, people. Not at all. Okay? He's in there to be a distraction to you. So you don't see perhaps what's coming. Okay? So bills and different things are being pushed underneath your noses because you're so focused on something Trump has said. You're not paying attention to some legislation just passed that can cripple the future of many generations after us. And Trump ain't writing that legislation. Okay? You might think he is. All they say is Trump signed a new a new act or a new bill into legislation today. But they ain't tell you Trump wrote it. Understand that. And wake up, beautiful spirits. Okay? Trump is nothing but a distraction to you, to us, from really, really, really doing or paying attention to the things that need to be paid attention to, okay? We got too many homeless people out here in the world, 
too many people on welfare. And that was happening, that started to happen and grew way before Trump took office. So pay attention to what's going on around, okay? Um, give everybody a helping hand, okay? Let's get out of the uh, individual individualism and <clears throat> let's really, really, really understand that the country we love, the great America, um, could be on its last leg. And it's changing right before us. Not all for good, as we can see, for the worse. Okay? Um, be more frugal out there. Families get a tighter bond. Okay? Because you're going to need each other in the years to come. That's all I had to say. Don't get caught up in all the <clears throat> hate Trump propaganda. I'm not saying I'm for Trump. What I'm saying is don't let that bullshit propaganda blind you for what's really, really going on in this country. And it's not Trump. It's big business. It's banks. And pay attention to those senators. One love.